you guys asked for it and i am here to deliver so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and yeah so also on a side note i want to kind of point this out because let me actually turn off my notifications i wanted to point this out because i have been doing so lately if you are not if you are not subscribed please subscribe also if you are subscribed and you have not already enabled notifications, it's a little bell icon on my channel. I would appreciate that in case you happen to get unsubscribed from my channel accidentally so you can still come back and check out the videos. And we're going to do B-Pan actually after. I'll probably do that off camera. Anyways, I'll be back for you know some of this other gag stuff, the Yamcha stuff. But... What we're going to do is, as you see, I have a Mono STR team, and we're going to take on the Kaioken Blue Goku stage. I have been getting requested for this repeatedly. Like, it's crazy, and um, it's not something I have done, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video nonetheless. I missed a special strength team just for this event. Unfortunately, I... <sighs> this guy literally torments me. I want that damn tanker stunner Vegeta so bad, and he'll be so useful for this, and I just unfortunately don't have him. So, you know, that's one less good stunning unit, that, or tanking and stunning, actually, unit that I could have. Uh, let's see what Super Attack this Omega has. I'm not trying to show anybody's IDs, so I'm going to do that. Oh, that's a good Omega. Okay, cool. So this is the squad I am bringing. I wanted to try to make it to where it managed a little bit easier, gave me some longevity. So, of course... Gogeta is going to be the hard hitter because he has super effective damage. He's the only one that can really do damage against Blue Goku. Uh, Omega Shenron's over there because, of course, they're the leaders. Gotenks, I'm kind of fuzzy on, but I'm hoping that maybe he'll be a good secondary damager and he'll get some stuns. Omega, uh, uh, Rildo is there to be my tank and, you know, lower attack and stuff. The Buicolo is, or Bu uh, Tanks, excuse me. Every time I make a mistake, people point it out. Bu Tanks is there for the ceiling, of course, and Zamasu is there for the clutch healing because I'll be, low, be below 80% a lot of the time and also the links i'm very fuzzy on the go tanks i feel like he may not fit very well oh i'm already sorted to my strength units i really want to bring it it's just i don't have another strength unit to freaking fit in there that's the problem i don't have anybody else i could really potentially bring that would actually help me out in any way um i could bring the gt vegeta as like a secondary that's what I'll do. Um, I'll do that. Just as a secondary type of tank that can hit kind of hard. And also, I'm going to swap out my items. We're going to bring Icarus because I don't have any Weeses, apparently. And Ghosts. And, yes, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. Of course, we are going for all the key, as always, because I want to make sure that I can handle this, of course. I don't want to, you know, get in there and not have the key. But this is something you guys have been requesting a lot. Forgive me if I haven't been getting to a lot of the request videos that you guys have been laying out. I have been really busy, and I've kind of just been, honestly, like, oh, damn, Gogeta's going to be super in a lot. All freaking December, I've just been kind of drifting. I've just been kind of here. I haven't really been, you know, working too hard as far as, you know, making sure I'm shooting our consistent uploads and things like that. So I'm going to get back on track, uh, finish out the month strong. So anyways, we are now about to start, and Gogeta, like I said, is going to get all the supers. I would have liked for Buicola, or I keep doing that, Boo Tanks to have gotten a little more key, but it's okay. So, this is actually not a bad layout here. Um, one, two, three, four. That's a super, no, he, he has six key. Oh, wow, mine has another key, but I want to kind of keep his there, but. No, this is what I'll do. I'll do that. And I'll not get a super attack with either Omega, but I'll at least get the seal. I don't know how much it means or what it's worth, but it should be useful nonetheless. What if I ever got his super attack to 10? I was sitting on another boot tanks for a really long time. I like super attack 4 because I prematurely awakened mine. Let me actually check that. What super attack are you, Diver? Okay, I did max him out. Okay. Um, D D Zamasu, you're kind of useless in this scenario right now. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'll do that. And I'll get these for real though. Oh, jeez. And damn it. This is this is why I hope Gogeta. I always hate when one unit gets all the key because this is a scenario where Zamasu could have probably gotten two and he could have super attacked. And maybe Vegeta could have got one. So I didn't have to give Vegeta all those greens just to get a super attack. It's really annoying. Not gonna lie. Hey, there goes one. I haven't used this Vegeta in a really long time. He's not a bad unit. I just haven't gotten around to using him. 
All right, so this is the setup I actually wanted. I wanted to get the, like that. I wanted to get the Boo and the Gogeta together for their over in the flash. Cool. So this round will hit pretty damn hard. Should do a lot of good damage this round. Yeah, he's actually done. Omega's going to wrap it up. See how little damage I'm taking? That's the value of Omega Shenron. Omega Shenron is making him hit like a feather. Awesome. Okay, there goes Omega Shenron. And I, I also get requests to show super attack levels. I showed booze, but I'll show the rest of them. I love this art. I have the card as well. I just don't really use it. He's a good unit. I just don't. He doesn't fit very well for what I run. Um, of course, this is not my main strength team. I made this specifically for this. I wanted to point that out as well. Because I always get comments somehow still, regardless of pointing stuff out. It kind of triggers me, not going to lie. Uh, I will check the super attack levels here as well. Just to show you guys, not the items. Um, okay, one, minus five, one, two. I didn't even know that was two. Max, max, nine. Boom, okay. Okay. I'm feeling kind of good. I'm a, little, I'm a little anxious right now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This is where we're going to start doing a little bit of damage at a time. Little, little damage at a time. So Gogeta's going to be the only one doing damage. Ah, oh, crap. This is a bad turn. This is a very bad turn. This is a very bad turn because I don't have a, a Shenron, and he's going to super attack me there. I know he will. So I'm going to actually use this prematurely. I don't want to use it yet, but I don't really have much of a choice because I didn't lay this out properly to where I get a Shenron. From here on out, I will lay it out accordingly because he's going to super attack me. He's going to do it. And before he doesn't. Okay, there it is. It would have actually pissed me off if he didn't super attack on one of those first couple attacks. Okay, there's that. So now I don't have anything to worry about. Gogeta can do his thing there, okay? He's legit going to be the only unit, like I said, that's going to do damage because he's super effective. Um, I could throw Rildo there. Rildo's not going to take any damage from these. Great, and my Omega won't hit super effective. Or not, uh, for a super attack, excuse me. I need to get that damn Shenron to spawn with the other ones so I can put him there instead of Gogeta. Well, I'd have to put Shenron and Gogeta together, get rid of Boo. It's a weird scenario because I really want Shenron to spawn every round, but he can't. There's going to be a dead round based on the way that the rotation works. All right, time to reseal. Um, I'll heal here. This actually really isn't bad. I'll heal here and do that. And I think that's three super attacks. Yeah, three super attacks. That should be it for him, hopefully. No, he's going to survive a little bit. But at least I'm not getting super attack. That's all I really care about. And actually, if I don't kill him, the big bad... Never mind. <laughs> big bad bosses would have activated is what I was going to say, but... It is okay. All right. Let's do that there. Oh, girl. I'll do that. And a super as well with, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that he doesn't do that. Okay, cool. All right. Did about what I expected. This is all Omega Shenron lowering his attack. And Rildo's going to lower his attack with that super attack as well. So once again, you see kind of the, the two coins, right? You see Gogeta hitting really hard. And the defensive value of basically all three of these units that are on the field right now. Because Vegeta's not going to take anything either. 4,000 damage from an AGL unit. Mmm, boy. Boy, boy, boy. I need, I, I, I can't, I, I need the Shenron to spawn every round. I can't not have a, a Shenron at this point. He's just going to hit me too damn hard. 
Can I survive three attacks without a heal? Can I survive three attacks without a heal? I won't even chance it. Forget it. I probably could have. I honestly probably could have, but I won't chance it. That, oh, I couldn't have. He would have killed me. Good thing I didn't chance it. I was going to say, if there is no super attack, I could have. I mean, that's the caveat, right? If there's no super attack, you get your Gucci in the... Never mind. <laughs> Hashtag Krillnit down below. Comments, please and thank you. It would be really nice to have that Vegeta on this team. Honestly, he would have lost his passive by now, probably. Okay, Zamasu. You got your passive to regen. That's great. Zamasu is a weird unit. I like him a lot, but he doesn't really help out a lot of the time. And now he's not going to super attack because I laid that out badly for him. Do your damn thing, Rildo. Lower that attack some more, boy. This is going to be a long video. Thank you for everybody that stuck out. I chose to go the defensive route as opposed to powering through it. I also kind of spent a few minutes talking in the beginning of the video. Okay. Boom. Now Gogeta's going to wrap it up, I think. I think that Gogeta can wrap this up now. Yeah, Gogeta will. Unfortunately, it's going to be a Doken attack so early in the battle. We'll get to see how much he can do. That's nice. Let's see if I can get all of them. I'm generally not very good at it. Oh, I almost missed that last one. It seemed like it sped up a little bit at the last second, man. Jesus Christ. That was a nuke. I did a lot of damage. That was a nuke. Not really. Just taking shots. Not going to lie. Anyways. Okay. Um, for starters, I need to do that. I really don't want to kill Rill, though. But I don't really have a choice. I need the Omega Shenron to spawn every round. This is actually not a bad turn because I'll seal the Goku. This actually isn't as long as I thought it would be. I was, for some reason, thinking there was another stage before this one, after the one I just finished. I forgot. He only goes regular Super Saiyan, then blue, and then blue Kaioken. I'm just going to keep him perma-sealed, though, and just lower his attack repeatedly, and I'll be okay. Yeah, this actually is a lot easier than I thought it would be, not going to lie. Okay. Boom. And there's that. Zamasu, again, will not super attack. He's always one key short because Gogeta was a damn key hog. At least Boo is super attacking. And Zamasu is healing. There's that. He's healing. He's making me not really need to use my items. And as long as Gogeta can super attack, I'm straight, yo. I'm straight. I mean, low-key, Zamasu still hit for 22k on a regular attack. That was actually not bad, given the type disadvantage. All right, time to reseal. I do love that Boo got the key that he got. It's making this a lot easier on me. Um, no super there, but I can at least set something up for next round probably here. I didn't even see him move. Can I keep him from super attacking me all the way around? That's lit if I can. If I can stop him from getting a single super attack, that's dope. I actually should heal here just to be safe. I don't think he would have done enough damage because Omega and Rildo, but I don't trust Gogeta's defense because he honestly doesn't tank very well even in these circumstances. Although I'm going to say that and I'm going to look like an idiot because he's going to take a thousand damage because all the attack lowering that we've done, but it's okay. He's also going to hit like a truck because all the defense lowering that we've done. 
Well, he still took 18k. Goddamn. He still took hella damage. Uh, Rildo, I mean, Omega still took 17k, so it's really not that bad. Rildo's not going to take anything. Barely a thousand damage. I love Rildo with a freaking passion. That guy is so good. All right, I need to do that. I need to reseal again at the cost of a super attack. Sure, I don't care. And Zamasu will actually get one this time. Hashtag Zamasu in the comments, please, and thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, this is actually working really, really well. I'll do that. Uh, no super attack, but it's okay. As long as I've got the Boo super attack coming in next round, which I do. I'll do that, because Boo only needed four key, I think. Yeah, four key, I think. Gogeta! Girl! Ugh, that was nasty. Goodness, oh my goodness, as uh, CBX would say. And that was Strength versus Kaioken Blue Goku. And uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Annotated on the screen. There's other stuff for you guys to check out. I feel like I deserve a like. So leave a like down below. I, I do feel like I do. I, I sound a little cocky, but it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed, though. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.